Welcome to my latest video blog from Strasbourg. Today I thought I'd talk a bit about agriculture. Um, many of you will know that I've now moved on to the Agriculture Committee as a full member, which I'm delighted about. It's been a while, two and a half years since I joined the Parliament, that we haven't had it from the South West a member on the committee, having been served so magnificently for ten years by Neil Parrish. He's been missed. So I now have the opportunity to attempt to step into those rather large shoes and I shall do my best. So here in Strasbourg we're talking um, about the Common Agricultural Policy which is now up for review for a new period. The current uh, policy comes to an end in 2013 so it's essential that we negotiate a whole range of new uh, policies and I'm I'd like to just talk about a couple of them. There's been a lot of in the papers recently about um, what is being titled the, the um, hands-off or non-active farmers. So those are people who own a great deal of land and get huge payments on the common agricultural policy. And the idea amongst many political groups is that's unfair, that uh, we're giving public money to landowners which is not going towards agriculture. Certainly um, the research that we've done in the Conservative group would suggest that this is not the case. Um, the, the money which goes to landowners is directly, uh, in most cases, used for performing agricultural duties, improving the land, making sure that uh, environmental schemes are put in place, and generally um, putting towards the success of agriculture. And we are particularly good at that in the UK. But very often in Parliament um, it's trotted out that the Prince of Wales, for example, gets a huge payment. But as anyone who knows and who's been to one of the Prince of Wales land holdings knows, if you go to the duchy farms down in Cornwall or indeed closer to my home in Gloucestershire, they're very well run, they run on very strong agricultural principles and the money certainly does not go to waste. So that in itself is a principle that we Conservatives will be opposing. There are a number of other issues, like permanent pasture, which I'll come back to, I think, in a future blog. But what we really want out of this Common Agricultural Policy Review is we need some common sense in agriculture. We, in the UK, have been saying for many years that ideally farmers don't, don't want public support. But with all the things that we're asking them to do, um, keeping watercourses clear and clean, um, having huge new investment in dealing with slurry, huge new investment in equipment for livestock and animal welfare standards. It is utterly impossible to expect that to happen without some kind of public support. But we're working towards a common agricultural policy that will eventually not require that support. But we're still just at the beginning of that road at the moment. Another issue that's been very topical with agriculture this last few weeks is the Schmallenberg virus and we will be voting on an oral question that's been put forward by my Conservative colleague Jim Nicholson from Northern Ireland. Schmallenberg is a virus which is insect borne or at least that's certainly the, the scientific belief at the moment, either by midges, possibly mosquitoes, unlikely to be moving from animal to animal or from human to animal, although again that's not definitive yet. So Schmallenberg arrived in the UK this spring and it, it started in Germany last year, which is why it's called Schmallenberg because it comes from a town of Schmallenberg in northern Germany. And it's one of the first new viruses to be found in, in agricultural animals for decades. And what it does is it causes birth defects. So newborn lambs and calves are born with deformed limbs and other problems, which is very distressing for farmers. Uh, farmers don't know if they've got it until the births take place. And I regret to say that it's now spread into the southwest of England within the last few weeks, reports from as far down as Cornwall. So it's a very important issue for us. So we here in the Conservative group have put a question to the Commission asking them to tell us exactly what they're doing. After all, huge amounts of money go into public health protection and we'd like to know exactly what they're doing in terms of finding out where this virus is, is originating, what exactly it's doing, if it's mutating, what it's going to do next, really try and get on top of it before it takes a grip. It's a bit um, like blue tongue in, the, in that we think it's spread um, via insects as I said, but it does have very different effects to blue tongue and it is completely unknown 
brand new virus, so rather frightening. So if you uh, know any farmers, um, please do support them in this time. It's very difficult. I know of a couple who are lambing at the moment and every time they lamb, they worry about what's, what they're going to see because there's no way of testing for it. So we give them our support. We'll be asking the Commission for some help and I hope to be able to report back to you positively about that next time. So I'll close on that agricultural theme this month. I'll be returning to it over the next several months because the common agricultural policy is it's a moving feast, it's an ongoing negotiation and every month uh, something new will come up. So please send me your, send me your remarks, any, any comments you have as usual. I, I really enjoy getting them. I've got some lively debates going by email with people, which is exactly how I like it. So please keep sending them. Thank you.